the Moto G has produced three generations of great devices, but can the latest one compare to the U Euphoria? I'm Sahil Sethi, this is TechTube, and you're watching the Moto G3 versus the U Euphoria. The U Euphoria comes with Snapdragon 410, Quad Core 1.2 GHz CPU, 2 GB of RAM, and 16 GB inbuilt memory, with a 8 megapixel rear camera and a 720p screen with a screen density of 294 pixels per inch. The Moto G3 also has the Snapdragon 410 Quad Core CPU but clocked at 1.4 GHz. It comes with 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB inbuilt memory or 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB inbuilt memory depending upon the model you choose and a 13 megapixel rear camera. The Moto G3 has a rubberized plastic feel with a metal ring around the camera that makes it feel premium. While the Euphoria has an all plastic feel but the edges gives a metal feel and makes it look and feel more premium than it is. Although the bag is plastic, it feels metallic that makes it feel premium. But comparing the two, the Moto G3 overall feels more comfortable and easy to hold in the hand. Coming to the software aspects of the devices. Both run on Android Lollipop but the Euphoria comes with Cyanogen Mod 12 which makes the Euphoria more customizable than the G3. And I prefer Cyanogen Mod over any other ROM any day of the week. You could do a lot more customizations on the Euphoria as compared to the G3. such as changing the battery percentage style using the status bar for changing the brightness customizing the button layout or even adding more. Both devices come with a 5 inch 720p IPS LCD display with a screen density of 294 pixels per inch. The G3's display is warmer, whereas the display of the U Euphoria feels a little saturated. Day-to-day -day usage on all phones are pretty good these days but let's see how these two compare while playing heavy titles. The G3 handles almost all games pretty well without any lag or heating issues. The U Euphoria is no slouch either. It gives a tight competition to the G3 in terms of gaming with no lag or loss of frames. But has some minor heating issues which can be overseen. The benchmarking of both the phones tell the same story with the G3 edging out the scores but in the end the Euphoria gives a very tight competition to the G3. Coming to the camera. Both phones are capable of shooting 1080p videos and slow motion videos in 720p. The photos are quite comparable, but the G3 produces more detail because of the extra pixels. And the HDR mode takes a little more time on the Euphoria to take, process and save images. In the end, both phones are great but the G3 edges out in terms of build quality and camera 
but the Euphoria not only edges it but beats the G3 comprehensively in terms of software, overall usage and price. So to wrap it up, if you don't mind using a lesser brand's device, the U Euphoria is the one to go for. But if you always go for bigger brands and are brand conscious, then go for the Moto G3. This is it from the video guys. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.